It's the 2021 Bahrain Grand Prix. Ferrari have come with an improved power unit. How will it go today? Oh, it's a cracking start from Leclerc. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What are those tires, man? Hey, what's up, guys? I'm over here, and welcome back to a brand new video here today. And we are back to, well, absolute stupidity on the F1 game once again. It's been a long, long while, but we're finally back with a, well, definitely a game-breaking F1 experiment. And it's kind of an old one we did back in the day on F1 2018, but I feel like it's very, you know, apt for the situation that we're in right now with Ferrari, because we're going to ask the question, what happened? happens when we give the Ferrari F1 car 1 million brake horsepower uh, because it needs it you know after last year we saw how horrendous they were in a straight line they've you know improved it somewhat for 2021 but I feel we can do better for the Ferrari team we can really inject some speed into that car in a straight line and uh, probably break the entire game engine in physics as we do it but yes I've been reading in the comments over the last well few weeks months a lot of you guys have been wanting to see more game breaking experiments return to the channel so here we are if you go on to enjoy it smash that like button let me know if you want to see more what other experiments you might want to see in the future but let's get into this we're going to be loading in here into a Bahrain test session or practice session since obviously the real 2021 cars at the moment have just done pre-season testing of Bahrain so you know let's see there might be a slight difference in the Ferrari going down this straight you know over the weekend to to now, I, I just, I suspect. Okay, let's see. Please wait. I'm waiting. Patient. Hey, <laughs> okay. Oh, no. We're not even good. We've not even made it to the five red lights to start the, the lap. Oh, no. Oh, dear Lord. There's so much power. The AI can't even drive to the five red <laughs> He's taken out the bollard. What are you doing, man? You just... <laughs> We're just doing some donuts. We're spinning around. You know what? See, it's the Ferrari way. We're spinning around like they did at Bahrain, even on the weekend with Sainz. But we're driving as Vettel. He's used to this uh, lack of stability, really, with the Ferrari of last year, to be honest. But look at those tyres. How are they not popping already? Are we actually going to... Oh, my. That car nearly hit us. We nearly got hit by now. Ah, wait, hang on. Oh, we're actually flying. We're doing jumps and I'm yet to even drive. This is the AI alone trying to drive this car. And he literally went in the air. <laughs> He's gone backwards. Oh, here we are. Let's, uh, let's go on board here. Right, so, so far we established the AI was flying at that point. Let's see how we go. Right, first gear. Ease the power. Look at the bottom right. The RPM is just spiking up. Ah! <laughs> what was that? That scared the hell out of me. Now, you see, this this isn't okay what's about to happen. I squirt the throttle. <laughs> The power of the car <laughs> takes the car airborne slow. Look at that. We do a wheelie up in the air and then they just go flying and skip it ahead. You know, well, that's, that's maybe a good tactic. If we had some, like, stabilizers either side of the car, this would be a really good tactic to gain some lap time here. But uh, I feel like we've already damaged the nose. Let's continue. This map. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh! Okay. Front wing's off. That's good. Maybe he should have turned damage off. Maybe. I thought I had a bit more faith in this car, but it's very difficult to drive. It, especially now without a front wing. For goodness. Okay, straight line. Let's. Ah! What was that? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay. I was going to straighten it up to go for a Banzai drag race. <laughs> just... We have well and truly broken the F1 game today. Look at this. It was second gear. I thought, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll go to the apex over there just to line up in a straight line. Let's see what we can do in one go. But then just... <laughs> It's literally taking off. Ah. I suppose that front wing, there's a little bit less downforce keeping it, you know, the wheelie. It was always going to, it flew a lot more because, you know, there's no front wing. So it's not, you know, it's got a lack of downforce at the front. Uh, I feel like there's a general lack of downforce now with the car, which has somehow been affected by the engine. I think we're going to move over to a safer environment, maybe, for, for, for this car. I do, I'm going to turn down the wick a bit because that was a bit ridiculous. But I do want to see... 
Well, basically how ridiculous, we, we, how and high we can maybe get this car to fly with that much brake horsepower. So we're going to go into time trial and see how this goes. And then we'll, we'll turn down the engine just a tad to make it a bit more drivable. But we go back. Ah, oh, well, and well, we've gone into time trial and I don't know why I expected. To be fair, we've got a lot, we've got a lot further here than we did in the, the practice mode. Invalidated lap. Yeah, I mean, I think they're all going to be invalidated when we're in the air coming up. But uh, let's switch to this camera just because we get a better picture of maybe what's going on, really. Oh, okay. You can see, really, any any tap of the throttle, even reverse, is hopping us because the wheelie just kicks in. Ah! Okay. Yep, that was more of a wheelie. That was more than a wheelie. That was more like... Uh... If I didn't know any better... I would have thought we're watching an F1 version of Back to the Future there, because that's exactly what that looked like. Oh my! What the? <laughs> what? Off left rear tire just <laughs> stretched out on the left, and we went it down into the ground first. I need to watch this. It. Oh, in here. What? Look at that suspension movement. Look at it. It's like we've gone to pimp my ride and come back. You know what? If they, if Ferrari want a high rake car, I found the solution. Just run the rear tires like that. You'll have a little high rake. And then we just take off like Thunderbirds completely. Love that. And then land very nicely. Back down. A bit of a questionable landing there by going into the ground. And that left tire. That right tire's fine. That left one though. That tire. <laughs> Ridiculous, and then the fuser probably took some damage. Yeah, it's uh, it's very undrivable at the moment. I can't lie to you guys. Get any sort of semblance? Can we get? Look, if I go up to eighth gear, is that going to help the situation? No, no. Now, now there's just too much power for me to get down. I've got traction on as well, by the way, and it's still not helping. Oh, we're just we're just spinning around. This is slower, if anything. Adding this much power is slower. We're not getting anywhere. Fourth gear? Oh, fourth gear might be underrated. No, no, it's not. No, it's you know what? No. These men on the side. Look at that Marshall over there. He's definitely thinking, what on earth? It was in my water. What was in my porridge this morning? <laughs> what a uh, slow turn one and two compared, compared to a normal Ferrari. We've not made it any better. We've done the Jeremy Clarkson. We've tried to be clever and we, we've been ambitious, but rubbish. Okay, we've reduced the power a little bit by about half for a lot of the earlier kind of power delivery. And then at the top end, it's still as powerful as it was. I'm hoping that will allow us to have a bit of a gradual ease on the throttle and ease into that kind of higher end uh, BHP, basically. But uh, I'm still, I see it's still a lot more than the, the usual. And as you can clearly see, the car is still hopping about. If anything, it's more erratic. How's that happened? That was more violent than the first time. This is not possible. I literally decreased everything by half. We're only now like, I think about a hundred times more power on like some of the, uh, the, the, the Y values, but still the car just doesn't want to behave. Come on, let, maybe if we go t cam, is that going to help us out? Maybe just steer our way through the power? Right, easy, it in. Easy, easy. See, we're only at 50 miles per hour. This is not very good. This is not this... For... Come on, get the power down. It's big. You can hear it. The, the rear tires. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> oh, build the spin! No, we had it. We had some speed there for a sec. Finally, the rear tires gripped up. This is absolutely hell. Watch this camera. <laughs> Look at that camera shot. What is that? <laughs> It's like, it's, this is, look, I don't want to hear about a car being a bucking Bronco in the corners, because if it's not this, then it's not a bucking Bronco, because this is a bucking Bronco. This Ferrari prancing horse is galloping everywhere. We're only just making it to sector two, and we are, uh, you know, one minute into the lap. Ignore that, ignore that. We can improve that. We can gain the time back if this car wants to comply. Ah, it's just got so much power, it's spinning out. Okay, this is the final attempt. We've really reduced it. Now, you know, the, the power is only times like 10. So even that's still quite powerful, I will admit. But uh, if, if this is not stable, then is, is there really any point of adding power to the Ferrari, you know? So I'm hoping this will be somewhat drivable, but uh, I guess we'll find out now. Let's go. Oh, okay. Okay. Seems okay. 
Okay, let's go off board. I want to see if there's any rear end weirdness here. No? Okay, okay. You know what? Bit of understeer there. But this is. Ah! Okay. It's a little bit loose on the rear, but the rear end's not flying up. The car's not flying in the air. So this is maybe somewhat drivable. Let's go back to that camera. Just take it easy. Even with traction control on, the rear end is spinning. Oh, okay. No, eighth gear was not good. Did you hear that? Did you hear that screech? So eighth gear, not good. Seventh gear, maybe the underrated gear. Oh, <laughs> this is one way to enter turn one. Right, just before we end off then today's video, we're going to go in the opposite direction. We tried to carp it down. Wasn't possible. It, adding any extra power somehow breaks the game and just it's not very drivable. So we've gone the other way. We've added more zeros to it. We're now at a race. So it's not only me. My AI teammate is going to have this ridiculous flying... It's not a car, really. It's just it's a vessel for too much power. But we're going to end it off by seeing what, what it's going to be like. I've got damage off. So we can actually, you know, survive three seconds. But, I mean, I'm ready for chaos. I'm ready for this car to go flying, really, off of fire lights. Uh, let's see. Fire lights are out. And... <laughs> <laughs> okay. The claw of the fire lights. Literally leapfrogs the, the Red Bull. Look at this. Watch that. <laughs> What a start! That is how you start! <laughs> it's the 2021 Bahrain Grand Prix. Ferrari have come with an improved power unit. How will it go today? Oh, it's a cracking start from Leclerc! <laughs> and then I'm upside down. And then Leclerc, he starts accelerating and it just... The physics break and he's hop skipping everywhere. And then starts just flying about, zooming around, he does. Wait for it, wait for it. He's going to start zooming in any moment. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's starting to jump. He's literally starting to vault around. They've got a mind of its own. Oh, <laughs> look at him go. We've... Oh, we, we've, we've been both disqualified. He, I want to point out, he absolutely clears the Red Bull. Like, look at this. Look at that. That is the perfect launch. And then if the Red Bull got off the line well, that's actually a perfect start, you know. that's He's done really well there. I'm just doing multiple restarts of this race, and it gets more ridiculous as we go on. Look at the acceleration here, to the point where the car is just tipping over. And Leclerc is still having a madness over there. Come on, underlay. Yes. No. Yes. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are those tyres, man? What are those tyres? What's going on there? Oh, it's only a glitch. It doesn't show up in the replays. What, is, what were those tyres, man? They weren't even attached anymore. I, I'm losing the plot of any sort of structure to this video. We are just now... Oh, I'm just being a three-year-old, really. I'm just playing around and watching a car fly about. Because this is something, I don't know, satisfyingly funny, to be honest. Come on, off your pot. Oh, God, that's a different combo. Now we're upside down. We've, oh, we've, that's the way you stop Lewis Hamilton winning. Tip upside down and then just stay ahead of him. And look at those rear tyres. As soon as those touch the ground. I'm actually, this is a really good effort by Hamilton here. Go on, Lewis. Thank you very much. You've taken me to nearly turn one apex. How am I going to get disqualified, FIA? I'm not the one pushing myself along upside down. Oh, okay. I tapped the throttle and it just went. And there we have it, guys. That's going to be the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, then be sure to smash the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. <laughs> and if you're new around here, get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. And let me know what other experiments you want to see in the future. But <laughs> we've got <laughs> we've got an issue over here, and uh, it's not going away anytime soon. Goodbye.